Okay, I'm inside Catacombs Cave at Lava Beds National Monument. I just switched flashlights because I think I'm lost. <laughs> okay, just kidding. Not exactly. But let me show you where I am. So I was coming down the main tube, the east tube. There's two main tubes, the east tube and the west tube. I took a cool side passage through here. This is the way I came. So I'm generally heading downhill. Now I came to this room. Look at the ceiling here. Is this cool or what? It's really tall, like eight feet tall, maybe closer to 10 feet tall. Brown instead of gray. Lots of sharp formations, very uneven. Okay, so pan down. There's a way down there. I think that's back to the main tube. Oops, hold on. Okay, I think that's the way back to the main tube. So let me take a look over here. Okay, yeah, so this is a dead end. See, I thought this was a way over, so I got confused by the map not matching the real thing. Okay, yeah, the important thing about caving, stop to look around once in a while so you can figure out where in the world you are. Even if it's just one tube, it's still a good idea to pay attention. Notice how the floor is not flat at all. The cave is sloping downhill. I'm not sure the total elevation loss from the entrance to the lower end, but it's obviously dozens of feet. Because look at this. I'm going down there. I think that's back to the main tube. So I'm going to climb down there and then turn right to keep heading down towards the lower end of the cave. Luckily, this rocks here are not slippery at all. Lots of traction. So I don't mind climbing up and down like this. Some caves, they're very, very smooth. Either they're worn smooth from wear and tear or they're uh, just naturally smooth, like from ice or something, the type of rock. So it's important to make sure you have enough traction. Don't ever go down unless you're absolutely certain you can get back up. You don't want to get yourself trapped down inside of a hole. Wow, this is a huge tube. I didn't realize it was this big. Okay, cool. So let me get my uh, backpack back on. I want to show you what I just did. So this is the main tube. That's the way out. I'll probably go back out that way. The elephant's rump is right around the corner. This is the way I just came down. Notice how it's a slope, but there's lots and lots of welded rocks. So very, lots and lots of traction. Plenty of stuff to step on and grab onto. This is the way through to the lower end of the cave. This is where I'm gonna attempt to go through. See, it's only about three feet tall. So I don't have to belly crawl. I just sort of have to crouch down. But doing this, I have to be careful with my head. I'm actually leaning sideways. So I don't have to bend my back. I don't really wanna belly crawl on this. Hopefully you can see the floor is rough. Belly crawling is slow and difficult through here. So notice how uneven it is. One, it gets wider, like 20 feet wide, and then narrower, like six feet wide. Same thing, the ceiling gets almost five feet tall, and then back down to like two feet tall. And you can tell by the flow on the floor, the main tube went this way, straight through the middle, well, kind of to the right. Let me look back again. Here's something interesting. Look at the floor. Mostly just rock, but there's some mud here. A little bit of water, puddle of water. That's the way I just came. That's the way I gotta get back out. Good thing I had a good breakfast. Need some calories to burn to get through here. Yeah, lava beds itself is uh, kind of in the middle of nowhere. But within an hour drive, there are a few decent cities, have motels, restaurants, gas stations, all that nonsense. What's funny, Amtrak goes through here. Amtrak stops at, uh, notice the blue arrow. Amtrak stops at uh, Klamath Falls. From Klamath Falls, good luck getting here. You'd need a, wow, rent a car. So that's the way I just came, that's the way out. Notice the ceiling is mostly kind of rugged because of where a piece broke off though. Very rough ceiling. Mostly brown, but there's sort of a reddish pink. But I'm in a room here that's dozens of feet wide, easily 20 feet wide. 
But as again, you can tell by the flow marks on the floor, it just sort of right here through the middle. Oh, what the heck? My backpack got caught on a rock. Almost got me stuck. As you can see by the flow lines, there's also a crack. And then this welded rock. Look at the ceiling. That's a scary